Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're gonna check out Email Octopus and we're gonna check out their starter plan. So basically the starter plan is free. So you get up to 2,500 subscribers and 10,000 emails a month for free. So that means for, for, for most users, that's just enough. Now, Email Octopus has basically everything. So you get email campaigns, you get email templates, you get integration with Zapier. So with Zapier, that means you can integrate a whole bunch of stuff. So pull information from forms or from just a whole bunch of places and bring them inside of Email Octopus. So you're gonna check all that out in my video overview. So let's jump into Email Octopus. All right, so as I mentioned before, we're gonna check out Email Octopus free plan, and what you're gonna get is this right here. So 2,500 subscribers, 10,000 email sends a month, Email Octopus branding on the emails. If you wanna get rid of that branding, then you have to jump into the paid version. The statistics are stored for 30 days. If you need forever, then you would have to jump obviously to the paid version also. You get basic support, and if you need priority support, then you jump into pro. Now, if you need the pro version, check out the price right here, moving this slider. So let's actually jump into Email Octopus and check it out and see how it works. So this is my account, and I created th three lists for this video, and what everything you're gonna see right here is the free plan. So if you see it here, that means you can use it. So I created three lists. One is just a test list. Another one is my Facebook group. On this Facebook group, what I did is I pulled in with Zapier information from my Google Sheets into Email Octopus. So every time that someone is added to that Google Sheet, it automatically adds right here into my Email Octopus. And then I imported this one manually, which is called marketing. So you can import your CSV or text file inside of here to pull in all your email, email contacts from other service providers, from your email list, from your forms, from contacts from a website or something like that. And you can also connect your WordPress site with Email Octopus. And I'll show you that plugin in a bit. All right, so let's actually see what happens when we create a list and you get these options right here. So obviously we can create the name. I'm not gonna do it right now. And you can import contacts from a file. You can add a single contact, so that just, just means manually. You would add the name and the email. Or I'll do this later, so you can add the emails later to that one. So those are the list. And you get options, for example, subscribers since last week, for example. You can see the contacts, you can see the fields, you can import, you can export, you can forms, settings, or delete this list. So let's jump into campaigns. This is where the fun part starts. So in campaigns, you get two modes right here. So if we're gonna create one, we got the regular campaign and we got the automated campaign. So the regular campaign means, you know what, I'll create it right now and I'll just send out a list and that's it. You know, you're done. That's what you're gonna do. The automated campaign is different. So this one's really cool because you can set automatic campaign to, for example, when someone is added to a list, you send an email, for example, like immediately, for in an hour or in days, it just depends on that. And you can send more emails based on that automated. So let's try to automate it right now. I'm gonna show you how that looks. And we can add automation flow so we can use one of the ones I already created or create a brand new one. So I'll just call this one new for video, all right? So that's what this one is going to be called. And the workflow list is what email list am I going to use? I'll use the test one because I don't wanna send out to some subscribers. All right, next option we have is, should imported contacts receive these emails? So if the contacts are already in that list and we said yes, as soon as we make live this campaign, it's gonna send it out. So in this case, let's just say yes, all right? And what is the subject of this email going to be called? So let's just say, check out, check out this uh, email service, all right? And the preview text, we'll just copy this one for, for right now. And who is going to be sending out this email? So it's gonna be me, George, and from my email address. So just select that one. Now, uh, be aware that you shouldn't be sending out with Gmail because it's probably gonna go to spam folder and they're actually going to tell you this. All right, so the first part about automation is when do we wanna send this email? So as soon as someone is added to this list, or do we wanna wait hours or days? So for example, let's just say, you know what, someone signed up to your form and they jump into this list. So let's wait a bit, right? So we don't wanna be spammy. So let's just say uh, seven days, all right? So seven days from adding to that list, it's gonna start this automation. So let's go save and next. And we, like I said before, we're gonna get an, an email right here, alert saying don't use Gmail, right? because it's gonna go to spam. And now we are here on the templates. Now templates are pretty nice. You got simple, totally plain, like hey, just, just plain text, 
Or you could go a little bit fancy checking one of these out. So for example, you can preview them. So let's just preview this one. And this is how that email will look. Um, let me a little bit more fancy with some images. Now these are pre-built templates. You can build your own and you can modify these. So let's, let's use this one, it looks pretty nice. So let's click on that one and check this out. Now we have the email builder right here. So we have the content right here. So it's titles, text, images, buttons, social icons, dividers, or your code. So for example, this button, if I click on it, we're gonna get the options for this button. So instead of saying download, it's gonna say buy now, right? It just automatically updates like that. And where is this button gonna go to? So right here would set the link, right? So let's go to my site, sasm.co, just for example, right? And you can change the font. You got all these fonts available. You got bold, normal in this font. So there would be italic if it was another font. You got font colors, font size, padding, and all that good stuff. Padding would be, see how that moves? Check out the button once I click on it. And you got the width right here. So if that looks small, you can make it look bigger. And these are just settings that you're gonna be able to see. Now let's just say, you know what? I'll add a divider right here because I wanna kind of separate the content. So just add a divider, click on the divider, and we can change this to, for example, black if we wanna be like, show that even better. Thickness, if we wanna be thicker. And obviously it doesn't look, this doesn't look nice, but this is just for demo purposes. Now let's add some social icons right here. So you add the social icons and then we can set the links for those social icons right here. And if we add it to, if we wanted to add more, then we click right here and we just add them as you go. Now something that I like also right here is that you can set dividers. So if we wanna add these rows and separate, for example, instead of using full width, we can use these dividers, for example, in three, two, or four. We just drag them inside and drag the content inside of that. So for example, the content, you just drag them inside. So it's pretty easy to use. You can see you can like change this image if we want. So change the image, change the size of the image. We can center, we can do some more on it. And if in this case, we're just gonna say, you know what, that's okay. This is for video purposes and we can save it. We can send the test right now if you want, but we can save and go next. So save and go next. And in this case, it says we're ready to go, right? So delivery, we set seven days from when adding that email. Um, we get again the email warning saying, hey, don't use Gmail, use a custom domain email, which is what you would have to do, right? And this is the preview if we wanna see the content and we can actually send that content right now. So if we send that email, Let's check it out how that's going to look. All right, so now it's sent. Let's go check it out. So this is our email right here that we sent out as a test and check out, I, that's the divider I added, the social icons, and I left everything else the same. Uh, remember that uh, branding that we told you about in the beginning? Well, that's right here, email octopus. I don't, I don't think it's bad and it's free, so I don't mind having that there. So let's go back to our campaign right here and let's save that, enable it. And there we go, this is the first automation that we're gonna use. But what happens if we wanna send up a follow-up email? So this one is sending out after seven days, but what if we wanna send out another one? So we add another email to this sequence and same as we would with the first one, but we send out in different amount of days. So in this case, we can say 14 days if we're gonna send out that email or 30 days, 60 days, just the days that you wanna use. And you add that sequence as an automation. So that's pretty cool. Next thing that we have is templates. So in templates right here, these are the templates that, that you make and you save. So basically the one you edited before, like the one you saw over there, we can save it and it would be right here. Or you can see their templates, modify them and save them as your templates. So it's easy to use. Next thing we have is reports. So once you start sending out these campaigns, you're gonna be able to view reports on how many people clicked on it, how many bounced. I'm gonna show you really quickly. Let's click on this one right here. Let's view report. So nothing's been sent right now, but this is the information that you're gonna be able to view. So it's email sent, open, clicked, unsubscribed, and bounced. You can see right here, seven days or 30 days. In this case, it's the free plan, so we don't have more than 30 days to view right here. And you can view the activity and view email. Now, let's talk about that cool part I told you about the integration with Zapier. So if we go over here to our settings, integrations, and API, we can integrate with Zapier. And with Zapier, we can do so many things. We can pull information from forms, we can pull information from my Google Sheet like I, I did, and we also have the ability to install a WordPress plugin with Email Octopus. So I got that site, I'm gonna show you how that looks, and I already added Email Octopus right here, and I created a sign up form. Super easy, super fast. Let me click on edit to show you what the options are gonna get with this 
plugin. And just be able to install this WordPress plugin and get this form so you can use it really quick and really fast. If you don't like this form, then you can use Zapier and use any other form and just pull the information from that with Zapier. So this is the form fields that you're gonna get. So it's first name, last name, email, and consent to subscribe to this newsletter. Now you get those settings right here. So for example, if we wanna show the email octopus branding, how does that look? So we get that, but we're able to remove it even in the free version. And you get the include consent checkbox. You can modify that if you wanna say something else. You got the appearance. So you got just basic options like their pre-built themes or custom colors if you wish to change the colors to your branding, right? So instead of having a blue button, you can change it to your branding. So if your site is red, you can change that button to red so they look like your branding, right? So let's show you how that looks. So right now, I just created this demo side, this is my SAS Master testing side, and this is how the signup form looks. Now right now, it's full width. You can integrate that in a widget, something really small, or make it look a little bit more nicer. Just for testing purposes, this is how it looks. Now, if you fill this out and you send it out, it's gonna add the contact automatically to your email list over here. So in this case, I connected with the API and it's ready to go and it's connected. So that is Email Octopus. And like I said, you get most of the stuff that other email campaign softwares has out there and you can have it right here. And like I said, you, have, you checked out right now the free version, which is 2,500 subscribers for free. For most people, that's enough. Well guys, that is Email Octopus. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.